Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Being a background actor in western movies. Let's check it out. Really? It's like, it doesn't work. How do I get in there? I get a lot of questions about being a background actor in Western movies. It should be mentioned that the term you are all familiar with is extra, which has, in recent years, been under some scrutiny. It appears extra has a derogatory tone to it that gives some the feeling that we are a second thought and not actors at all. We're the folks who drink at the saloon, walk down the street, or sit in the jury box. We make the town look alive, and without us, there is no movie. Think of New York City with no people in it. New York, New York, a hell of a town. The Bronx is up, but the battery's down. The people ride in a hole in the ground. New York, New York! What the? Personally, I don't care what you call us. Heck, I get to be in a Western movie, and more importantly, watch how they make it. Talking to the film crew is a real treat, and I always learn something. This is the stuff I want to share with you all. There is another tier that I didn't know about until I was cast as one, Featured Extra, which means that the actor is playing a specific part that interacts with a principal character or is imperative to the scene in some way. We tend to have meaningful descriptors like Deputy Number One, and usually some decent FaceTime on camera. In my case, I'm usually getting killed or shot at. Now, there is a degree of stress that background actors bring. In June of last year, there were about 125 of us on set one day. Big street scene, with cowboys, bank robbers, wagons, and the rest of us weaving in and out of all this action. The production assistants and assistant directors, our wranglers, had to block us and make sure we are safe while giving the director the vision he wanted. They have the added job of choosing who goes where and in what scene. In one film, there were only about 10 of us to make up the street scenes, and we had to wear a different wardrobe from take to take so the town would look more populated. At one point, we ghostwriters were literally swapping hats. When we are done with a scene, those PAs have to make sure we go back to our holding area and don't venture out exploring and disrupting the other filming going on. It's like Little House on the Background Actor Prairie. It might be interesting to note that we're usually kept in the dark about the plot to the movie. Since we don't have lines, we aren't given a script. The less we know, the better. Nowadays, with social media, we can let the cat out of the bag pretty easily. That's one reason we sign non-disclosure agreements when we get on set. Also, they are pretty forgiving about smartphones, as long as they're turned off or put with your belongings back in the holding area. You can even take pictures with the other cast members. But until the movie comes out, they have to stay off the World Wide Web. Outdoor daytime sequences require an early start because the filmmakers are chasing the sun. Our call times are early so we can get hair, makeup, and wardrobe settled by the time the sun rises. Breakfast and lunch are provided as well as snacks throughout the day. As always, a huge thank you to the crews on these films. It's a tough job and they do it expertly. So I hope this answers some questions about being in front of the camera. We'll cover more on this topic in future episodes. Bobby and Charity here. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. So wait, what did you say you were getting ready to do? I, I'm going to um, start on this piano lesson thing that I don't even know how to play. And oh, you can actually, there's no teacher, no. you know. You're going to play uh, it? Plus, I'm portraying the town mayor here today, and and I'm firing a bunch of people here in about 10 minutes. So, oh, is that right? Yeah, I'll oh. keep you guys, though, because, you know, you guys are like you. Can you, so. can you just stick to your day job and fall off horses and tables, please? Oh, well, yeah. It's safer. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. You're going to fall off a table and a horse? Or a yeah. horse on a table? Yeah, I've done that before. He could do both. I mean, yeah. he's talented, I think. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. I can know Betsy got married, of course, but I, being jealous, obtained a divorce. Betsy, quite satisfied, said with a shout. 
Goodbye, you big lummox. I'm glad you backed out. Singing dang holy idol, singing dang holy a. to organize a party and see to it that Butch and Miss Rain will be brought home safe. I expect so.